Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dude from Ukraine. How are you guys? Um, so tonight I'll be showing you, this is a video response to a video I made about 9 months ago uh, th about the Mini DisplayPort 2 HDMI. Um, sorry if I sound sick, I am kind of sick right now so my voice is kind of down. But anyways, let's get into this. So what I was talking about in the video 9 months ago is about this little cable right here. This costs about 10 bucks, maybe 15 with shipping. Uh, you can find it pretty much anywhere right now online. It is third party, it's not by Apple. So uh, Apple does not make these. Um, but what it does is pretty much allows you to plug in your, or uh, allows you to use your MacBook with an external monitor. Uh, like not the cinema display, like the cinema display for example, uh, it already has the cables with it to plug into the MacBook. But uh, if you wanted to plug it into your HD TV or your X HP monitor or something like that, uh, you probably would need this little device or a little cable. So basically, all it is, you just plug it in. There is uh, on one side uh, a mini display port, and on the other side, there's an HDMI. So uh, you just take the mini display port part and uh, plug it into your mini display port on your MacBook laptop uh, so that's pretty much it now uh, this just gets you halfway through now you need an uh, HDMI cable which you can purchase somewhere really cheap on eBay or something like that but uh, again uh, another thing the purpose of this video is just to answer all your questions pretty much I re read through all your comments so make sure you leave comments I'll answer your questions but I know it is a lot of people that not really go back and read my responses so I'm just gonna make this video um, so now you get your HD and my cable whoops uh, connect to, you, to your TV so this is my high definition TV I connect to the back take the other side and connect it into the mini display port uh, cable that you bought and there it is now it's connected wait and uh, now you wake up your computer and I will have a like little uh, video playing in this video showing you guys how it works uh, so now you go through the certain steps uh, you just click uh, the monitors option on the Mac uh, then you can either click detect displays if it hasn't detected them you can also uh, click turn on metering which allows you to have uh, pretty much whatever you see on your Mac you will see on the same display and pretty much whatever you do on your Mac will happen on this uh, display as well as you can see the resolution is a little bit off on here but you can change the resolutions uh, so whatever you do here you do on your Mac so it's kind of like you pretty much mirroring the uh, mirroring says it all um, now you can also choose uh, different resolutions uh, let me find the right option and uh, you can display preferences and display preferences is really useful uh, there will be a preference on your Mac and on your display that's that and uh, back to the question some of you ask uh, can you connect this to your Xbox 360 and then to your Mac or your PlayStation 3 for the Xbox 360 I tried it you cannot do it it doesn't do anything um, <clears throat> Or PlayStation 3, I didn't test that, but uh, I'm pretty sure you cannot do that either. Uh, for If you want to see how to connect your uh, Xbox or PlayStation 3 to your cinema display through your Mac, uh, just visit uh, on YouTube, Mitch625, I'll post his link in the description. He's a really good YouTuber, a lot of useful videos over there, just check him out. Um, Subscribe to him as well. He has really good videos over there. I think he has some videos how to connect gaming console to your Mac or uh, to your display. So uh, watch that video. Um, can, you con can you connect this to your Mac or Mac Mini or your iMac? Uh, I'm pretty sure you can if it has the mini display port. Uh, I don't see why not you couldn't. Uh, I don't have those uh, computers, but uh, I'm pretty sure you can. If it has a mini display port, then uh, you can. Not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure you can. <laughs> so, um, what else? Uh, about the sound, a lot of people have been asking, is there a sound or how's the sound work? Uh, so when you connect it, the sound will not really work through your TV or anything like that. Uh, the way it works, 
with the Mac, for example, um, <clears throat> the sound will play through the MacBook. Or you can also connect your external speakers, uh, which I have right here, the sound sticks by Harman Kardon. There's the little cable. I plug it into the head headphones jack on the computer. I plug it in, and now all my sound will play through that. So that's how the sound works. It doesn't really go through the, the uh, HDMI. So um, also, uh, it does work with other monitors, not only like TVs. It does work for, like for example HPs, and I'm pretty sure other monitors, as long as they have HDMI output. I will show you guys how it works with like an HP monitor in just a second, right now. Alright, so here is the mini display to HDMI port. Uh, it is plugged into the high def uh, monitor, which is the HP 2709M, and uh, there it is, works perfect. As you can see right there, there's. I mean, I can pull up Windows in my monitor, and there it is, works perfect with an external monitor. And again, I'm using an HDMI cable to connect to the the port over here and to the back of the monitor. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, if you have any more questions, please post the comments below. Uh, rate this video five stars. Uh, if you have again any questions, post comments below. Follow me on Twitter, twittercom ukraine You can ask me questions there as well. Uh, also, if you like my video, subscribe. I'll have more videos coming soon and uh, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Peace.